Right, been to some charity shops today, so let's see what I got. I've got Goldeneye on the Wii. I thought I had this, but I don't. Let's go pitch it up for two pound. So that can't be bad, can it? Uh, but we got the, the disc and the instruction manual. So uh, for the win, I guess. Uh, I got a CD. I had this originally. But this is Trailers and Tunes from Empire Magazine back in, what, 1998, I'm going to say. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, sorry, 1999, maybe. But, yeah, you could get some trailers and some tunes. It's got some nice stuff on there. Yeah, product of its time, of course. Because this is pre-internet as such. Where if you wanted to watch trailers, you have to get a video or sit in the cinema. Uh, I got a Blu-ray, 50p, ridiculous for this film anyway. Uh, this and the remake are very good, but it's an excellent film. If you haven't seen it, I can't remember the sequels, but it's a great investigative story. Then we get to Cyborg 3, the recycler, and it's a terrible little picture. Look at the expression on Malcolm McDowell's face. What am I doing here? But Zach Alligan from Gremlins and some others. Is that Rutger Hauer? Didn't see him mentioned, but could just be a bad picture. And it's not, well, it's got six chapters, and we're lucky to have that. I have seen it, but I can't remember a damn thing about it again. And Godzilla, King of the Monsters DVD. Bit of a loved uh, slipcover, but no mind. And one special feature. Well, it's going to be an old bad just for a DVD disc with an advert. See about that. And Spielbergos was his, his last pretty good film. I do like enjoy this one. Uh, but yeah, Ready Player One. I don't think we'll see a sequel anytime soon because this one didn't perform very well. And oh, there's a code there if you want to watch it. I don't check. And what else? Then da, 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 the three Star Wars films. I can't remember which ones I had on DVD, so I just picked up all three. I think it was like 20 something P each. So you got Force Awakens, The Red uh, Last Jedi, I have to check them. And Rise of Skywalker. Vanilla discs as such, but there we go. And we had a delivery of some VHS tapes. So I got Project Shadow Chaser, because I have interviewed Frank Zagarino. So I've got this nice X rental. This has, what's her name? Uh, Meg Foster, Martin Cove, who is the hero of the film, not that the video tells you that. It's all about Frank in this, as in some of the Terminator films. It's all about Arnie's on the poster. 94 minutes of uh, 80s. 90 sci fi fun. Good. It's a rip off of Die Hard, I should say. And then I got this the old Warner box of Never Say Never Again. I thought, why not? It was very, very cheap. Uh, pre search because the stickers are on after. You know, it does say PG there. Um, but yeah, there we go. Matches some of the others, and it's in very good condition because this is, what, 40 years old and. Normally these things are split to hell, somewhere at the top. Uh, the labels are usually filthy and ripped, but some of it looks almost new. But there we go. Thanks for watching. Here ends the lesson.